I'm Guy Reed. I'm Dean of the College of Medicine, Phoenix, but I'm also head of this cardiovascular lab where we study the basic mechanisms of blood clot formation in order to derive new treatments uh, to prevent and treat heart attack and stroke. We also study the mechanisms by which people develop heart failure, which is otherwise an inexorable process that leads to death and disability. We've been focusing on some of the genes and some of the molecules that we might perturb to improve outcomes for patients. Understanding the mechanisms of clots has helped us to create new clot dissolving treatments for heart attacks and strokes. There has been incredible progress in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Death rates and disability have dropped dramatically, but we're still not where we need to be. Uh, cardiovascular disease still is the major cause of death and disability in the U.S. In the cardiovascular system, it consists of the blood vessels, but also of the heart, which is the pump that distributes blood, gets it oxygenated in the lungs, and then delivers it to major organs such as the brain. However, these two systems can be linked. If you develop a blood clot in your heart, it can break off and go to your brain, causing a stroke, and that is the major cause of, of disability in the U.S. right now. So I think there are really two elements of success in, in the fight against cardiovascular disease. One is when our communities understand all of the things that lead to this deadly disease and have modified their behaviors to reduce the risk. A second will be when we can identify novel therapies that for when people develop a heart attack or develop a stroke, we can reduce their, their risk of dying. Success uh, for me is to understand what causes this and then to come up with a therapy that can stop it.